what is up guys another video back to the summons bar rune optimizer i haven't made a video on this stuff in a long time first one question hat or no hat leave that in the comments but besides that let's go to the video if you have sharp eyes you have seen something and it's summoners war optimizer pro well you also read that in the title description but whatever 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 what does this do what does this do well first off like the um version that's for everyone the updates that are that will be coming like today probably like the moment i release this video sandro is posting these uh, uh these updates um, he's been working really hard on like so many improvements and like me and a couple of other guys have been giving like well actually like the whole community has been giving like a lot of feedback and he has like few testers including me because I made like videos on this and blah blah, blah. okay too much too much information but we got some cool shit we got some cool shit and we got one feature man that's that that's the feature to my heart that's the feature to my heart well first of all one I really care about is efficient uh, efficiency for um, the artifacts so you can actually select them by efficiency of the artifacts I'm not showing my first step I have to watch out that I don't show any things I don't want to show for siege or for uh, well my RTA box is not here because this is my normal box so yeah we have that works really well um, one minor tip with this however do keep in mind that like for example some poor lines like for example let's see an artifact that's pretty bad it's pretty bad artifact one that doesn't make any sense well this one is pretty good yeah this one yeah like you have these like uh defense increase from proportional lost hp and blah blah that kind of stuff these lines they don't count too much like towards like the so you can't say like hey highest efficiency artifact is your best artifact no um so like a suggestion we gave to sandro which is he which he's still working on is that you can uh same for your runes that you can I'm not sure where it was. I think it's in the settings. Yeah, here in the settings, you can say like the efficiency weights. So that's probably something like a flat HP is like half worth of the weight of like a, a normal full. So that's like something he's going to implement. There's like a, a whole bunch of um, stuff going to be implemented. But we got, he, got, he says like, I can't do everything at the same time, right? So I got to start somewhere. So this is where we got for, or that's where he cut for like starting somewhere. So you can select artifacts right now to optimize as well. You can select like the main stat, you can select like a, a line you want to have in there with a min and a max. The thing is, um, this will contribute towards like the bolts. So the bolts will be like adding like the artifacts. Is it however choosing your best artifact on like rune efficiency or anything yet? No, it is not. So. I actually want to do one thing with a unit so Naomi I'm gonna 2a her yes because I want to give an example let's say I want to make uh, Naomi okay we got a 2a Naomi cool base yep that's max okay let's say we have a 2a Naomi and uh, we want to do like artifacts well there's no stats on it right now so let's just put in something like that uh, let's just go for rage and late. I do know she doesn't need any um, crit rate, but whatever, just for the sake of it. And then attack and attack and the rest I don't care, that I don't care. And this is going to turn off for now. Okay, so let's do that. It's going to calculate the balls like you're used to. You see GPU optimization. Ooh, that, 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 that's the one to my heart. That's the one to my heart. So that took about nine seconds to get like a bolt. Uh, wait, let's do in like damage calculations as well. Let's do this. Let's do chain punch. It's times two, whatever. Yes, okay. Crit. Always crit. Attack buff, defense buff. Yes, cool, whatever. Okay, go again. And it takes about nine seconds to find the bolts. Yes, okay. So in this case, you don't see artifact like uh, efficiency in here yet. Um, because there's not that much space so we're, like he, he and like some, some other testers are still, still trying to find out like where to fit that kind of stuff maybe remove like the effective uh, HP D because from like the people we talk to like not that many people use it so I think in general not many people use it but however like the artifacts are included in here if I would select optimize artifacts as well you can see that the bolts like they start to run up like really really high maybe if i put a focus it's not that bad yeah if i put a focus it's it's going down quite some but like these artifacts maybe if i just select like a substat would it go down a bit no this is gonna take quite a while i don't have any of these um 
probably have something with life drain. Let's go life drain. No, okay, let's go for something. I do have that's probably do have and I probably do have this. Nope, okay, wow. Do I actually have did I actually farm artifacts? I do have this 100%. What? Uh, struggles. Oh, they're probably because I did this, but if I remove this, oh, now you can use all strange okay so the artifact like optimization mm, I'm not too sure about it yet not too sure about it yet to be honest like can we actually do this now we can but we can see like this is gonna take like this is gonna take forever to actually find anything this is this is never gonna work anything also like with the pro you get the get bolts after canceling so Yes, optimizing for artifacts. Mm, I don't really make, recommend it to do it here. I would recommend to do it within here, pretty much. But that's my personal preference for now. However, let's go to the real Gucci shit. Let's go to the real, real Gucci shit. So you saw that this was taking like forever, right? Well, let's first go to the exact same thing. I disabled this and I did it like this. This was taking nine seconds without GPU optimization. GPU optimization comes with the um, the Pro Edition. Pro Edition is paid. However, I don't think it's that much money for a, a program that we've been using for that long. But it's a total optional. Um, like it's it's totally optional if you actually want to get this yes or no. It's not necessary. Okay, well maybe for the artifact optimization because it's that difficult to find stuff. Maybe it's kind of necessary. Maybe I put the the, the, the criteria pretty bad but you see like what was nine seconds became one second let's push this to the limit let's push this a little bit further because we know that a uh, naomi is actually you can make it fully broken right you just need crit damage you don't need in a crit rate we got 969 bill eh? but let's let's go pure crit damage pure crit damage and let's boost it a bit by taking any rune okay that's let's like normally if you would do it like this let's do it like this at first okay let's see how long this takes so a million calculate uh, calculating a million bolts this is taking pretty long right this is taking pretty long this is like based on the cpu like the normal version works like this so again i said like um sandro has this is a paid version from sandro it's I would say like it's not really buying anything it's just donating this guy like how many people have been using this software for like the longest time and it was free so yeah I, I think it's I think it's pretty worth it I think it's pretty pretty worth it to have this um, optimization and it's it's a small donation like I don't know the exact price the exact price will be on his reddit post um, but you can see this this is taking a long time right this is taking a pretty long time I, I just want to I just want to let it run, let it wait out. Let, let's see how far we can get. And this is just searching for pure crit damage. Uh, are we done? Not yet. Well, it's actually, it says 1 million, but it's like 1.4 ish. This is taking a long time, but we can see the exact time. I think it's taking like two minutes, two minutes. But yeah, people like me who use this a lot, who use this pretty effectively a lot and this helps out by saving a lot of time but you can also push it way further because this it's just taking a super long time uh you cannot put in like uh, any like wild cards too much you have to be really specific so what i did before is like uh, i go into a build and the moment i want to increase my search depth so the search depth up here the moment i want to increase that i will go, uh, i'm very likely to um pick a rune and then put it in the include slot, force to use that rune and then it will always pick up that rune and therefore it doesn't have to search for six runes but five runes. Then if I have another rune that makes sense, I put it for four runes and three runes and yadi yadi and that kind of stuff. So that is an option that I used to do with the um, old version, the non-pro version. So also the only thing you get with the pro version is the optimization of GPU. The artifacts, everything else like that is still in there. So this took about two minutes, bit more than two minutes. I felt it was longer, but okay, we have that. Let's see what the GPU optimization does. We got a million bolts and 
we're, we're running heavy. We are running heavy. This, this, we done eight seconds. So we went from what was two minutes something. I felt it was longer than two minutes. You could check in the tire stamp. We went from two minutes something to eight fucking seconds. Eight fucking seconds. And then also, boom, getting like the highest stat. Sure, cool. And then, okay, but I, I feel like we can do better than that. Like you can increase the search depth and you go like five mil balls. Let's, let, let's push this to the limit. Let's go 50 million balls, close to a 50 million balls. Let's see how long this takes. Sure. This does count on like how good your GPU is, how good your CPU is, that kind of stuff. This will not work on web most likely. My GPU is a 1060. Um, I have to check it. I will put it in the description. I think it's a 1060 GTX. Um, it's like a laptop. So I think I should have put the, the fan on a little bit higher if I'm like, <laughs> if I'm like annoying this guy that much, but like, 50 builds. If you did 50 builds on the old one, it's gonna take forever. It's it's probably not gonna load. It's probably gonna like just gonna die. Okay, I think 50 builds is a bit too fanatic, but we can stop it. And it's actually it should be putting the bolts that it found. It should be putting in here. It's still loading to do that because there's two steps to it. A, it's calculating the bolts, and B, it's like placing the bolts down here. So it actually. It found like 8 million bolts in like 60 seconds. So, but that's like really pushing it hard. If you would like narrow down this, um, let's say we are using that. Let's, let's say like for this, like let's do it the old method that I did before. Let's say, okay, this solution is rune is pretty good. Let's use that. I include that here. Boom. Include that there. We drop it down to like 9 million uh, bolts and 9 million bolts it's pretty doable like 9 billion bolts takes as long pretty much as what it used to do with like i don't know like not even maybe 800,000 maybe less no mostly i kept it like under a mil like I, I kept it like half a mil or something like that that's what i mostly did okay so one more thing i forgot and i definitely want to put into the video i'm back at naomi i have the rage set attack crit damage attack yes i have the focus of attack and crit damage yes i have a damage setup yes unit is currently not ruined and if it's ruined currently it's getting builds of like let's say if i just run it like this with the search depth of 10 without any filters okay and we get like uh 382 up think it's probably the best let's say non rage just to make it a little bit more difficult for it okay we had this one this one runs like eight nine seconds six seconds okay so let's see how do we want to upgrade this because this can actually even go faster faster so if we go to the filters these are the filters let's say I put a filter of the damage so how Sandro explained this to me how it works like your memory gets like this is one second i changed <laughs> i got from six seconds to one second so how does it go that much faster the thing is your gpu can go through all of the bolts really fast but your memory still has to like save every bolt like individually that takes time as well if you remove all of the bolts that are below like thirty-five thousand damage because you don't need it or let's say a hundred crit rate on some units or like two AD speed on some unit that kind of stuff like you probably don't have that all combined but you get my point like if you have these kind of filters of like a certain unit you don't want to get under a certain HP you can put it in that filter and it's not going to save these bolts and therefore save a lot of time so it really um, like enhances the time of the GPU optimization as well so if we increase the search depth to let's say let's do this let's see how long this takes so if you would do this without any filter, it's kind of stuttering, but that's my laptop and it's probably also like heating a bit. Make sure they don't, oh, that's over boost. It's probably too much. Just balance is fine. So yeah, I don't have the fastest laptop like out there, but you notice that like the, the you don't have to allocate that much memory if you put in the filters. And I'm really like pushing limits right now with going for like 260 mil bolts. But with the GPU optimization, with a filter, it is possible. If you would run this with without a uh, GPU optimization, this would take... I wouldn't be surprised if this takes like up to days. So, yeah, that's why you get like 
it just gives you so much faster calculation, so much more options to go like in depth and that kind of stuff. So wanted to add the one in. I recorded this the next day, but I think it's that important that it has to be in. So there you have it. So this feature, it helps out a lot. So if you think it's worth the money, go for it, go for it. Like if you think it's like, ah, I don't use it that much, sure, you can still use the free version. Like there's nothing wrong with using the free version and you get all of the updates he's still gonna support all of the updates the only thing you do not have is the gpu optimization that's the only thing that's missing also everything that's coming for artifact selection uh, artifact efficiency blah blah all that kind of stuff it is gonna be in there so it's just the gpu optimization and it works it works like a train it works insanely well so that's what I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments what you think about the uh, mainly the GPU optimization. Like it's, I think it's really freaking good. But let me know what you guys think about it. And also like the, like the Reddit post of Sandro. Most people are like Sandro post Insta like. Keep doing that. Keep doing this. Show, show that guy some love. Show that guy some love. He definitely deserved it because this is by far the best tool I've seen for like a online game that is free that you can that we've been using so long he's uh, so long he's been supporting this for so long as well like he's been he's been doing really good shit so he's taking like lots and lots of hours in this one you have no clue so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the tool as well i hope you enjoyed the update I hope you enjoyed the update of the optimizer and see you in the next one